And in finance, the depreciation of the Chinese renminbi to an eight-year low against the dollar has triggered worries of an imminent trade war between China and the U.S. But one local expert explained the depreciation as China's way of protecting its export market, saying that the country would employ more aggressive measures in the case of an actual trade war. I love you and I thank you. During his successful campaign for U.S. President, Donald Trump repeatedly called for a more protectionist trade policy, even going so far as to propose a 45 percent tariff on Chinese exports to the U.S. The Chinese renminbi has undergone a steep depreciation since Trump's election. But according to one local expert, the Chinese government's seeming reluctance to intervene is actually a strategy to protect the country's export industry. In the future, the U.S. may take steps to force the renminbi to appreciate. So letting the renminbi lose value now before it goes back up is China's way of making sure its trade competitiveness doesn't take too much of a hit all at once. The renminbi exchange rate has gone into a steady decline, yesterday hitting its lowest point against the U.S. dollar since the 2008 financial crisis. An article on the website of the Japanese financial journal Nikkei Asian Review speculated that the depreciation might represent Beijing's first move in a potential trade war with a protectionist Trump administration. The U.S. wouldn't be able to raise its import duties by so much all in one go because those changes would have to go through Congress. So China would instead do what it could to increase domestic demand while reducing its imports of U.S. goods, encouraging its citizens to buy and use Chinese products. NTU professor Huang Daiye characterized China's tolerance of renminbi depreciation as a sign that it was moving to insulate the country's export sector. Huang explained that if China was pushed into a trade war with the U.S., it would engage policies to stimulate internal demand as a bulwark against potential U.S. protectionism. 